What is it about this business that has you all fired up that you'll do whatever you're doing and whatever it takes to get in or grow your business? My name is Mark Helm and I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage and I'm the creator of the Self Storage Quick Start Academy. At the Self Storage Quick Start Academy we have courses that support the small investor in getting in this fantastic self storage business. We help people get in strategically in a way that creates true wealth and a fulfilling career. So whether you're getting in the business or whether you want to grow your business, we're here to support the small investor. And at this is the time of year where we're creating the upcoming year in our self storage business. And my question is, what has you excited about this business? Now, sure, we all know the advantages of self storage, steel wall, concrete floor, very few capital expenses. You don't have to put as much money away to handle the, there's no tenant improvements. You, there's no commissions to pay. You can project it. We all know the advantages of the self storage business. That's one of the reasons that we're excited about being in the business. You know, it's really for you to decide what has you be excited about being in the business. You know, we talked last week about creating the financial future of our facility in the upcoming year. This is the time of year where we're creating budgets for our facilities. So we talked in detail last week about how to create powerfully a budget for next year to create, not describe, but create our financial future for that particular facility. This week, what I want to talk about is your self storage business, your overall business. What is your business? which is not what the facility is going to do. What is your self storage business going to accomplish in the upcoming years? And it starts with why are you in the business? What has you be excited about being in the business? What is your vision for your self storage business? And what can happen in the next 12 months to forward that vision and turn it into reality? I'll tell you what really fires me up about being in a self storage business and why I love it so much. Each day I have the experience of waking up and going to work in a business that at one time was a vision and for the most part has now manifest itself and exist in reality. And every day I get the opportunity to wake up and go to work in that business that started in the head and now exists out into the world. And I tell you, that motivates me. That is exciting. That fires me up. Let it fire you up. See, the thing is, we create this vision for what our business is going to be. Then other people start to get that vision. We end up having customers. We end up having employees. We end up having investors or we end up with bank loans. And pretty soon the world out there begins to get enrolled and become part of and see the vision for our company that we create. And they step up to the plate and they say, yes, I want to play in that game. I want to loan you the money. I want to come and work for you. I want to put money in your deal and be an investor and reap some of the benefits. I want to be your partner. And what happens is the world starts aligning up with your vision and then it exists in the world and you get to get up every day and go work in a company that you created. And not only the company that you created, you get to play in the game you created. Every day I have the experience of playing a game that I created. I created the rules. I created what the win is. I created what the loss is. And I've got a lot of other people playing that same game with me. That's fulfilling and it's fun. That's what fires me up about the self storage business. Sure, I like making the money along the way. Sure, I love the wealth creation. I like the fact that there's so very few variables that I can help our investors and I can help our employees and I can predict very accurately the cash flow. But all that is secondary to the experience I have daily of playing inside a game that I created and the rules I created. So what's important about where you're going to take your self storage business in the next 12 months in the upcoming year is you're actually creating what the 
rules are. What is a win? What is a loss? What's going to happen in the next 12 months with your self storage business? That's how you know if you're winning or you're losing. Now I'm amazed at how many people don't have goals. I'm, I'm just amazed how many people do not have written goals that do not know where they're going. Wherever they're going, they're going to get there by default. Sure, they have a, a hope or a dream or a, a vision, but unless that's written down, unless it's something that's kept alive, and unless other people get what that is, it's nothing more than a wish or a hope. See, we have a, I, I, we have a large vision called $60 million storage portfolio. Now, each year we create where our self storage business is going to be to achieve that vision and how close we are to that vision. And then each year at the end of the year, we either won or we lost on the game we created for that year. So for example, last year, I lost. I'm, I'm going through the process right now as I create next year. But the first thing you do is you see, you get the what so of what's last year. If you remember the budget process, step one, complete and get what so from last year. So in our case, what so is I only put 33% of the self storage and service this year that I said that I would put in service. So I missed my target by 66%. Now there's reasons why and I've got excuses, but the bottom line is I lost that game. Another one of our benchmark numbers for whether for where we would have our business was our income growth. Now I don't have the final numbers for December, but if we're on track and closing the month out where I think we're going to close the month out in December, I'm going to be slightly under what the income growth would be. And that income growth actually took into account the facilities that I did not put into service this year. So we did very good on the income growth and we did not do very good on putting the facilities into service this year. So. I get what so, step up, and I was accountable for that. I missed the target. Sure, I have reasons why, but let me tell you something. Losing at a game that you created is way more fulfilling than winning someone else's game. Now, let me say something. Even our managers have their games. Now, they work for us and they're inside our vision, but each year we help them create what their game is going to be for next year. And then they play their game. So they've got their own games that they're playing and they can win or lose at those games. But I tell you, it's as a manager, it's way more fulfilling playing a game that you created as opposed to I've got to hit a target number that my boss gave me. So we set our managers up to have the experience of winning their own games. So how do you create the upcoming year for your self storage business? Here are the steps. One, complete. Get what's so about last year. If you didn't have any goals, get that. This is what happened in my business. Have it be complete. You do not want to be creating a new future on top of a space that has a bunch of stuff in it. What you want to do is get it complete. You want to create the upcoming 12 months of your business in a clean space where nothing is there. Step two, decide what would forward my, the vision for my self storage company. Now that presupposes you have a vision. Like why are you in the business? What is your reason for being in the business? And let me give you a hint. It's not the money. It's not to earn a living. That's not the reason why. If you don't have a vision for your company, a big why you're in this business, do that first. I have training material and support material on how to create your, your business strategy and the vision for your company. But given what your vision for your company is, what in the next 12 months would forward you and your company towards that vision? Now, my relationship to this is I want it to be a stretch. I want it to be somewhat realistic. I don't want to say, 
I'm going to do 90% of my vision next year if it's a huge number. But what I want to do is stretch to where I don't exactly know how it's going to happen. That's a powerful thing to create where you have to expand outside your comfort zone to fulfill on and win the game you're creating. It could be the number of new products that you put in service. It could be that you stabilize the project that you're renting up. It could be that you buy an existing one and build one. Whatever forwards you towards your vision, create what that's gonna be. You can do it by income. You can do it by percentage growth. There's all kinds of ways you can create, but make it measurable, that you know you've won or you've lost, that forge you towards your vision for your company and why you're in business. Then write it down, have it written out, have it stay alive over the next 12 months and create benchmark measurements each quarter, each month, each week, however you want to do it. Know where you are as the year progresses in relationship to the game that you're creating. And finally, keep it alive by telling strategic people what it is and enrolling them in helping you play your game. And what's powerful is when people that you know and that are involved in your business with you start relating to you as the game that you're playing, that's a powerful way to go to work every day. So you've created a game, you have your environment relating to you and relating to that game daily, weekly, monthly. And then you're reviewing periodically where you are in that game, keeping it alive in everyone, for everyone in their listening and in your life. That's a powerful way to relate to what you're creating for the next 12 months for your self-storage business. If you do that, it makes every day much more fun to go into work. Share below. Share in the comment section. Go to the Facebook page, Creating Wealth Through Self Storage. Share with me and with the rest of the people of the community who watches this what you're creating for your self storage business. It could truly inspire and help other people. Plus, my commitment, and I'm speaking for a lot of the people I work with who are involved in this community, our commitment is we will listen to you and we will relate to you as what you're creating. We're not going to relate to you as to where you are, or what your past is, and what your past successes or failures are. We relate to you as who you're creating yourself to be and your company to be. So thank you very much. Create your self-storage business for the next upcoming year. Share with us what it is in the comments and on Facebook. And I look forward to supporting you over the next 12 months and winning that. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self-Storage. And I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer, a powerful financial analysis tool specifically designed for the self-storage industry. If you think it can help you, I invite you to go to storageworldanalyzer.com, creating wealth through selfstorage.com. Thank you very much.